T-minus two minutes and counting. Jackhammer uses a lot of forged steel parts, which are preferable to castings or plate steel, because in the process of forging steel, the grain flow of the steel conforms to the shape of the part, making it much stronger. A jackhammer has over 60 pieces, which are held together by seven bolts. Why bolts? Because if you weld a jackhammer together, it would vibrate itself apart. The bolts allow for vibration. Compressed air goes into a chamber and a pile driver pushes the bit into the concrete to break it up and then there's a valve that flips. This compressed air then sends the pile driver back and the bit back up and that just keeps going kind of what's called a self-reciprocating motion. This happens 25 times a second. The jackhammer works off Newton's law, force equal mass times acceleration. The mass is the bit, but the acceleration is what the air pressure provides, and that's a hell of a lot of force. The business end of a jackhammer is the front end assembly, and that has a bit. Now that bit, pounding the concrete, can bust up to five inches of concrete. Our test laboratory scientists will now demonstrate. There are several types of jackhammer bits, each designed for a specific job. Two of the more common bit types include the pointed bit for general braking. and a flat-tipped bit, which allows direction control for final edge finish. These things are hard to use because you've got to attack from an angle to prevent the bit from getting stuck, but you've also got to control it so it doesn't run away from you. If you're going to be jackhammering, wear your safety equipment. I don't want to see you texting and operating a jackhammer. The jackhammer can be very dangerous. It can destroy your hearing. You can lose your eyesight. You can pierce your foot. I hate jackhammers. When they tell me to do it, my smile turns into a frown. I've actually had some experience jackhammering, and it shakes your entire body. You can't really <laughs> think straight because your brain's being rattled around inside your skull. It can cause a condition called hand-arm vibration syndrome from all that pounding up and down. And that's a lot of shock for your body to absorb. That's why you see the jackhammer operator taking a break. You thought he was just some lazy guy. You try holding on to that thing. It was just about destroyed itself, it seems like. I just turned it on and it's shaking so hard and it wouldn't turn off. I was holding the power button, wouldn't turn off. This thing's fucked. I hate jackhammers. That's why you see the jackhammer operator taking a break. When they tell me to do it, my smile turns into a frown. You thought he was just some lazy guy. You try holding on to that thing. I've actually had some experience jackhammering, and it shakes your entire body. You can't really <laughs> think straight because your brain's being rattled around inside your skull. Your foot. I hate jackhammers. This is where Meg was staying. Oh, I thought Paris would be a bit more picturesque. Instead, it's just traffic and some big guy using a jackhammer. But, monsieur, this is not a jackhammer. It is a jackhammer. Oh. <laughs> when they tell me to do it, my smile turns into a frown.
The guy now four wheel drive just saw me fall down like 10 seconds ago and now I'm like speeding ahead through traffic and shit. I mean, I'm speeding ahead on gravel, baby. On gravel. I mean, they're going faster than me, but I'm gonna catch them. Next light. Go stop them at the red light. Stop them at the red light. Yeah. Oh yeah, my north road. Beautiful. Ah. Oh. And it's so weird guys, it's, this is so weird, what just happened, I broke, I mean I didn't break, I fell over and dropped my camera again and I thought it was going to be, I mean I wasn't sure what was going to happen but if you remember last time I fell, nothing happened, didn't even get a scratch, but this time it wouldn't turn on, right? So I fell down and then the camera wouldn't turn on, so I assumed it must be busted or something. But luckily I've got another camera, which is the same camera. Exactly the same camera. So what I did, I swapped the batteries over. And then I realized it actually isn't broken, it's working. But the battery that was in the camera that fell is now reading 100%, right? So, hey, look at that, Harley. Yeah, so, I don't know what's going on. Because I put that battery in the other camera and it also reads 100%. And it should be nearly empty, right? Because I've been recording for a while now. And these batteries, they run out pretty quick. So how weird is that, isn't it? I fell over and my battery recharged itself and it's still going. I'm recording right now and it still says it's like it's down to 90% now. It's so fucking weird. And it's like it actually is. It's not like a glitch. You know, it's not just saying it because it's like damaged or something. Or maybe, who knows, but it's still running. So that's the weird part. It's, it gained some energy in that fall. Maybe it's uh, maybe it used a bit of um, regen. Maybe that's safe. Maybe that's one of the hidden features that I don't know about. You fall over and the camera recharges itself. <laughs> we'll see how we go though. If this actually um, keeps going for like, you know, full charge, this is going to be so weird. Like, I don't, know, I don't know how to explain this, but that's literally what happened, guys. I was on empty. I mean, my battery was empty. I fell over. And then it was full. It was 100%. And now I'm still going. I've got a full charge and I'm recording. Man, it's... Magic. The King Song is too slow to just ride in traffic, you know. It can't keep up, so it's a bit dangerous. And you only you're left to the footpath. When there's not too many cars, then it's all right. 
because you can just move aside when someone wants to pass you, but when there's just a few cars, it sucks. When there's heaps of cars, then it's good, because then it's just peak hour, you know, rush hour traffic. Everyone's at a standstill and you can just cruise. But anything in between, and this King song's a bit dangerous, because it just can't keep up. Just a little bit too slow. Cars mostly do 50 to 60 kilometers an hour around here which is 31 to 37 miles an hour and this thing's top speed is 31 so what I'm saying is you can't cruise at 31 on this thing that's the top speed you know when you get anywhere near that or like when you reach that it tilts you back and yeah you don't want to just be tilting back Look at this peak house shit. Very small, very small. Yeah, it's broken though, it's like... How much is this one? It's only 200 but oh. it's broken too, like... I'll show you. 